We're going to create a website that looks like this using Notion. They recently launched some new features that are available only if you pay for Notion Plus or above, but you can also build a website for free with Notion. I want to show you all the new features in this tutorial, but at the end of the video, I'll show you two options for how you could create a similar website using Notion's free plan. On this page, you can see the differences between Notion's free plan and their paid plans. If you don't have a Notion account, you can sign up at notion.so or by using the link in the description below. This video is sponsored by Porkbun.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today and our top domain registrar in 2024. Later on in this video, it'll be clear why we like Porkbun so much. For a dollar off the purchase of a new domain or off the transfer of your domain to Porkbun, use the link below or enter the code the figco 24 at checkout. So here along the left-hand side, you wanna click on create a new page. Let's give the page a title. We're gonna be creating a website for my personal brand today. So with this blank page, I could just start typing, or if I hit the slash, I have a drop down of all the different things I could add to the page. Right now, I wanna split the top of the page into two columns. Along the right-hand side, I wanna say a little bit about myself, entrepreneur, YouTuber, and personal finance expert. Along the left-hand side, I wanna add a photo of myself. I have that saved on my computer. I'll just drag it and drop it under Notion. The image looks good there. Let's just drag it up a line. Then I wanna change the formatting of the text on the right-hand side. If I highlight this line, and then click on these dots, I can search for an action I wanna perform. What I wanna do here is change it from just normal text to H2, which is heading two. So the normal title of your page of each page should be H1, and then each successive title that's less important, you could say is H2, H3, et cetera. You should only ever have one H1, but you could have several H2 tags on a page of your website. And there we go. It's a little bit bigger and in bold. Then here again, add a slash, to add a different element, and I wanna add a button down below this text. So the top part, it wants to know what you want the button to say. I'm gonna have it say, get started on YouTube because we're gonna promote my YouTube for beginners course. Then down below, we need to select the action, which would be, in this case, open page or URL. Then click on the blue part that says select page or URL. And then you can either select the page from Notion, or I'm gonna type in the URL for our course, channelontroadmap.com, and done. Maybe add an extra space here. And that doesn't look too bad. One thing you'll see here, all the elements are squished in the middle of the page. If you wanna spread that out, what we can do is click on these three dots and then select full width. And then it looks like there's too much space for this image. So what I wanna do now is drag the column over so the left column is smaller than the right column, something like that. Now what I wanna do is add a divider between this top part of the website and below that, what I wanna create is a footer, something that we'll put on all the pages of the website. I feel like most footers are split up into several different columns, so we'll do the same thing here. Hit slash, and then type in columns, and we'll select three columns. I'll put my name in the first column. In this middle column, I'll put links to all the different pages of the website we're building. The first link will be the home page, the page we just created. Then we'll have my YouTube channels, our YouTube courses, as well as work with me. And then in the third column, I want to link to my social media accounts. So Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. I have all the links we're gonna be using today saved in a Google Doc. What I can do is highlight the text, click on add link, and then copy and paste the link that I wanna use. I'll do that for Instagram, then for TikTok, and lastly for Pinterest. With that done, why don't we create the three additional pages besides the home page? Again, to add a page along the left-hand side, click on create a new page. Give the page a title. I don't know if I have another page in Notion named my YouTube channels, so I'll add tutorial on the end. I have three YouTube channels, so I wanna add three columns, a column for each one. In each column, we'll have a YouTube video, a link to the channel, as well as a description of the channel. I'll add an empty line at the top where the video will go, and then I'll add the name for the Figco, greater than enough, and beginning of a business. For each channel name, why don't we change it from normal text to an H2 heading text. Let's spread this out by changing the page to full width. And then we want to link each of the channel names to their respective YouTube channel. The Figco, greater than enough, and beginning of a business. Let's add a really short description for each channel. Grow your business online for the Figco, fix your finances for greater than enough, and for beginning of a business, why not just start a business? Then I want to link to one video for each of the channels. If I paste the link in and then select embed, the video will show up just like this. Then add the second and the third video. 
Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Then let's add the next page for our YouTube courses. What we're gonna talk about here is Channel Launch Roadmap, our YouTube course for beginners. Change this to an H2 tag because YouTube courses would be the H1 tag. And then let's just create a quick description of what's included in the course. And then let's have a list of bullets of what's included in the course. To add bullets, all you need to do is add a dash and space, and it'll turn into a bullet like this, and then you can add your list. So select the channel name, choose your niche, set up your channel correctly, come up with dozens of video ideas, and lastly, plan out the launch of your channel. And so this isn't a full description of the course. We have a separate page for that, as I mentioned earlier. So let's add another button that will send people to the full sales page of Channel Launch Roadmap. Just to make sure I can find this page, I'll add tutorial on the end. Then let's add the last page of our website, work with JJ Thalen. Again, I don't know if work with me has already taken a notion and I want this to be easy to find to link stuff together, as you'll see in just a second. This could be just something really easy, like if you'd like to work with me to grow your YouTube channel, send me an email at hello at thefitco.com. Maybe besides just listing our email here, we also want to embed a form that someone can fill out and submit. To add a form, what you want to do is type slash, then embed, and then you want to find the link of what you want to embed here. So I'm going to show you how to embed a form from ConvertKit, our favorite email marketing software. I created this form earlier, but if you want to learn how to get started with ConvertKit, there's a tutorial video down below in the description. Once we publish this form, then we'll go to share, copy this link, come back, paste the link, and then click on embed link. Let's adjust this page to full width as well. You'll notice the form doesn't completely show up because the embed section wasn't big enough for what we were embedding. So we can drag this down to make this section a little bit bigger. So now it's time to publish our first page. So in the top right hand corner, you'll see share and then click on publish at the top and then publish the page. You'll see you have a few options here. We have the URL along the top. So it's taking the URL for our notion that we already created. Then below, below that you have site customization, search engine indexing, link expiration. So if you only want something to show up for a certain amount of days, you can do that here. And if you want someone to be able to duplicate this page to create a template, you can have this selected. Let's turn on search engine indexing. Also the fact that we have notion plus, we can edit the meta title as well as the description for this page and then click on save changes. We don't need the link to expire and I don't want this to be able to be duplicated. Now let's see what's available in site customization. First thing, let's update our favicon. I have a JJ favicon, I'll have that right here. You can select the theme if you want it to be the system theme of light and dark. If you want this to show up just as light or just as dark, you can adjust that as well. And then there's a few options for the header. So you have breadcrumbs, which basically gives the title of the page, again, which is right below it. So I don't know if that's necessary. If there's a lot of information you want someone to be able to search, you can have that as well. I don't think it's necessary here though. And then the Notion watermark, you have to connect a custom domain to be able to get rid of that. And I think that's about it. Let's publish the changes. Page one is now live on the internet. Let's now go and publish the other pages. For my YouTube channels, we're gonna do the same thing, make it indexable for search engines, no link expiration, don't duplicate as a template, incite customization, add the favicon, the header, get rid of breadcrumbs and search. Then let's make the same changes and publish the YouTube courses page. One thing I forgot is a share preview. So this would show up if someone shares this link to social media. So why don't we upload an image here? Maybe this one of me using a teleprompter. I'll have to remember and go back and add this to the previous two pages. All right, that one's published. And then the work with me page. I know this is a little bit repetitive, right? Also, I didn't mention earlier, you can add Google Analytics to these pages if you're using Notion Plus or above. All right, let's publish this page. Now let's add links in the footer to each of the individual pages. So we have the home page, then link to my YouTube channels, YouTube courses, and work with me. Now I'll highlight from the divider down and I wanna copy this and paste it onto all the other pages of the website the work with me page, my channels page, and the YouTube courses page. Forgot to change this one to full width earlier. I'll fix that now. And then paste in the footer. Click on share. And then under publish, you'll see the domain that we have. If you want to manage the domains, make any changes, click on manage all domains. You see up top, we have takeovertheworld.notion.site. That's our main domain that we use for our business. And then all the pages that I previously published are using that subdomain. We have two options here. We can create up to four additional subdomains, up to five total, 
or we could connect our own custom domain. But you can see here that that'll cost an additional $10 per month. Why did I create an additional subdomain, JJ Thalen, that notion, that site? Then you can see here, I can just edit this page to be JJ Thalen instead of take over the world. And then changing the subdomain, this is now going to create this page as the homepage for jjthalen.notion.site. Now let's go to site customization and add all the other pages to the navigation menu along the top of the page. But for some reason, it, I've not seen any pages we can add. So I'm trying to type in my to see if my YouTube channels or something comes up here, but I'm not seeing any other pages that I can add. Maybe it just takes a little while before it's able to find the additional pages. I'm not really sure what's going on here. While we're waiting to see if we can connect the other pages to the navigation menu along the top, why don't I show you how you can connect the custom domain? If you'd like to connect the custom domain to your Notion site, you can't purchase a domain from Notion. We purchase all of our domains from Porkbun. A .com domain costs $10.37, and if you use our link in the description below or the code thefakeout 24 at checkout, you can get a dollar off the first year. Your domain purchase with Porkbun includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. With other domain registrars, you could pay up to twice as much for your domain and some charge from $9 to $15 per year for privacy protection. So these pages that we published were at just the normal domain that we created when we first created our Notion account. I'm gonna show you how you can either edit or add an additional domain depending on the Notion plan that you're using. Click on share, and then here again, click on the URL and then manage all domains. Click on new domain, and then instead of Notion domain, click on custom domain and continue. And then it looks like it wants to charge us $6.14. So I'm imagining we're partway through September, they're not gonna charge us for the full month. Click on purchase add-on, connect new domain, bring a domain you already own for your site. We're gonna use www.thefitcotutorials.com. All right, that's weird. Oops, something went wrong, 500, learn more. It's not letting me click on this, continue. All right, let's cancel out of this. Go back to the domains, and then it's, uh, it added it, but it says payment required. We pay Notion every month. I don't know what's wrong. Let's try this again. Purchase add-on. Oops, something went wrong. 500. It's a little different. Now it says pending. So maybe it took our money and it's going to work. All right, so it, it shows the URL is grayed out. And so now maybe we should validate it. And okay, so here's the instructions. This is something new. So we need to add a CNAME record for www. And then let's copy the record value and add. You can see it added down below. And then we need to add this text record. So change from CNAME to text, copy this in as the record name, as well as copy and paste the record value and add this as well. And then click on verify. All right, it's taking a while to verify. Please check in approximately 10 minutes to see if the domain is ready for publishing. Let's click on done. And maybe let's take a little break. And then pretty quickly, it changed just automatically from pending to live. I'm trying to add the home page by just adding the page here, but it looks like I need to publish a page with the new URL, and this will become the home page. Let's just close out of this. And then here, okay, now I can select Figco Tutorials, and it looks like this is now going to be the home page for that URL. Let's view the site, and voila, it is working. Why don't we see if the navigation will now work? And nothing seems to be showing up. Okay, after playing around for a little bit and the help of one of my colleagues, Arena, I figured this out. What we're gonna try to do now is take these pages and then just drop them onto the page. So they were all separate pages when you saw me create them earlier. But if we drop these onto the page so they're kind of sub pages to the home page, we can delete these three links from the footer. And then let's give this another try. Share, site customization, header, add page, and they show up right there. And then there we go. We have a menu now with all the three other pages. Why don't we clean up the page titles and delete tutorial from the couple of pages? And we could probably delete my name from here and change it to work with me. Also, this should update the links at the top for site navigation. But viewing the website, it still says tutorial. Uh, maybe let's just double check this. And well, in navigation, it updated. Publish the changes again. And okay, now that works. 
Okay, so look, we can click on the links now. So the one thing I'm noticing though is the navigation menu didn't flow through to the other pages. Let me see if I can add these pages to the My YouTube Channels page. And nada. When I go to other pages, I'm not able to add any other pages to the navigation menu. I'm sure this is something they'll fix in a future update, but you can build your own self-updating navigation menu. Like you see in this video from Creative Cove, you'll find a link to that video down below. Creating a navigation menu like this was one of the two ways that I was mentioning earlier on the video where you can create a great website with just a free plan. So with this navigation bar up along the top, you can then have a multiple page website using Notion's free plan. If you need a domain or want to transfer a domain to Porkbun to save a dollar off the first year, don't forget to use the code thefigco 24 at checkout. As you saw in this tutorial, Notion sites can be a good option for building your website, especially if you have a lot of information that's already saved in Notion and you want an easy way to share it with the world. At least today though, I wouldn't say this is our favorite website builder. If you want to find out which are our favorite website builders, watch this video up above, or if you want to see which are the best free website builders, check out the video below. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.